Well, for the very latest, let's go to France 24, Cyril Payen, who joins us from the Afghan capital. Cyril, uh, good evening. What is the atmosphere like tonight in Kabul? Well, I can tell you it looks like uh, we are in a momentum here. Time is, uh, is really accelerating. We just... Uh, uh, I've been experiencing where I'm standing in central Kabul on my on the roof of the hotel where we are living for we are staying for the past we have been staying for the past days a series of uh, heavy shooting uh, actually around us and uh, now while I'm speaking to you they are in the dark uh, a dozen of uh, uh, Taliban uh, uh, Taliban militants who are here trying to secure the area they have been positioning themselves at the corners of the places where I'm standing now just maybe to counterattack or to defend the hotel. Uh, while there is this uh, uh, heavy shooting which just uh, occurred around us. So it looks, uh, it gives uh, an idea of the uh, high volatility tonight, the tension, while we are really feeling that this is the end of the evacuations going on now in the sky of Kabul. We, ca we have been seeing and, and, and hearing uh, some low-level uh, flight uh, patrolling, U.S. Air Force flight patrolling, circling around the sky of uh, uh, Kabul at a very low level so it's extremely noisy it gives a, a very weird and strange impression with regards to the afghan people who are just waiting the final hours of the american prison so this is maybe and it looks like it's a the sign of the final final stage of the evacuation it looks like uh, it may be the sign that the uh, the delta force the commandos uh, the, the elite forces of the american forces are already on the ground two kilometers away from where i'm standing at the military airport of the uh, of Kabul to start the final stage which is the evacuating the, the final uh, uh, soldiers the Marines and then they will be, be evacuating uh, th themselves uh, probably before dawn tomorrow so it will be the end of 20 years of presence of the American troops in uh, in Afghanistan and it's uh, just happening now while I'm talking to you here in the, the Afghan capital. Cyril, uh, as, you, as you mentioned, history unfolding uh, in the Afghan capital tonight. As you also mentioned, hours before the final deadline for the complete evacuation, the U.S. Marines now on their way out of the city. What happens to those who cannot leave? Well, it's really very becoming and a real issue indeed here in Afghanistan, in Kabul, but also we know in uh, capital cities in the West, in Paris, in Washington, in London, about what what have been wrong with this evacuation regarding thousands of people who are still stuck here. I've been able to meet uh, 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 ten of the uh, uh, French Army collaborators, translators. We we have we we are hiding uh, for days in the outskirts of Kabul, and we met clandestinely yesterday. They just explain and show. Uh, they explain their cases and show the paperwork they have been through the process uh, to be able to go through this gate at the at the airport to be lifted uh, safely in France. They were just uh, eligible to have access to France uh, and having protection from France, but they are just stuck and uh, they were not able to get there. And they, we have no news whatsoever from any of the French uh, officials. So they were. Uh, we could feel some bitterness some uh, uh, tension in the uh, in the spirit of these uh, people who just feel betrayed and stuck here in Kabul and also they are uh, they say they are chased by the Taliban's we get the least of thousands of uh, people who have been collaborating with the, the West uh, or Western agencies which uh, for the Taliban's in the eyes of the Tal Taliban are considered enemies. France 24 Cyril Payen reporting from the Afghan capital for us tonight.